This property can be purchased for under 20k. It's not in the ghetto and it doesn't need rehab. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. This is where I help investors like you build, start, grow. On my other show, Investor Properties for Sale Show, even sell your real estate portfolio, right? And the guy I'm working with today, my man Roman, okay? Roman, what's up, dog? You are a Chicago-based investor, and I'm trying to help you out. And like I said, you could buy this property for under 20 k Now, the purchase price is... Not 20k, dog. You ain't buying a property uh, that's not in the ghetto. Don't need rehab for like under 20k as a total purchase price, right? But that's why I love real estate investing, guys. It's the financing, man. We get the bank to loan us three fourths of the money to buy these properties, and then we get the tenants, or more likely than that, in this scenario, the United States government to pay off our loan. Okay, let's talk. 90k is what they're asking for this thing. 2219 West 106 Cleveland. Now, it's a, it's a C grade neighborhood, dude. C, blue collar. But we still got to go Section 8, okay? Is it the heart of the ghetto? No. Is Section 8 the smart move? Absolutely, bro. Now, on an apples to apples comparison, the property I just showed you in Lorraine, that neighborhood, lower income, more risky than this neighborhood. This is the more solid neighborhood. But I want to try to target the purchase price of 70K on this one, just like the last one. It's. More unlikely that the seller takes 70 on this one, but I think they are overpriced at 90. I don't think someone's going to offer them 90. Now, they've only been on the market for five days. Now, Roman, we offered them 70 today. They might not be interested, dude. Five days in, they'd be like, fuck you guys, right? But if they're still on the market in 65 days, that 70 is going to start looking a lot better, bro. That's what happens, right? You get these sellers that don't know the true value of their home. Like every seller thinks that their house is special for some stupid fucking reason. It's not, right? Uh, but you get fucking Joe Schmo seller who's like, nah, my house is better than all the other fucking houses, even though they're all the fucking same. Duh, right? Okay? That's what happens. And then you get Joe Schmo agent, and he's just like, yeah, okay, yeah, 90, great, sounds good. Want to know why he does that, right? Because Joe Schmo agent gets paid when the house sells. To sell a house, you got to list the house, right? 7% commission, kick half to the buyer's agent. Josh Mo agent's probably looking at Josh Michelle like, yeah, this guy's fucking stupid. This shit ain't going to sell for 90 k uh, But I'm not going to be the one who's standing in his living room telling him he's fucking stupid because he's just going to say, okay, you can't sell for 90 k Get out of my house. I'm going to hire the next Joe Schmo agent, right? So what Joe Schmo agent's thinking, all right, Probably not going to suffer 90, but whatever, dude. I'll just take the listing at 90. They're six-month listings usually. And in two months, the market will tell this guy he's an idiot, and I don't have to be the bad guy. I don't have to tell him he's an idiot. And then he'll probably be down to reduce the price, probably to 80K. Probably still too high. Probably still won't sell, but guess what? I got six months. It'll probably take another two months to get him down to 70, and then boom, it sells for 70, right? So I think it'll eventually sell for about 70, hopefully to you. Uh, so we can put in the offer now if you want, but I don't think it's getting accepted, but... Like, four months from now, bro, it's going to look a lot better, right? So, you know, just going to take time for the seller to understand where he's at, back to reality. And that's what his listing agent is probably thinking, right? Because, again, why would the listing agent tell him he's an idiot now? That just guarantees he ain't getting paid. At least this way, he's got a decent chance of getting paid if everything goes to, uh, according to plan, right? <laughs> Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> and if you can pick it up at 70, bro, you're going to get paid, right? They uh, renovate it. It's pretty nice. It's a nice house, man. It's just not worth 90, but it's a nice, damn nice house, dude. They got the vinyl flooring, agreeable gray walls. It's, it's looking good. You got the white trim. Love the kitchen, dude. They did a great job here in the kitchen. Is it worth 90? Fuck no, but it looks nice. It's nice. It's definitely nice. Now, don't get me wrong. Might be worth 90 or very close to it if it's bigger, but it's a two bed, right? That's what's going to limit it, right? So our rent to Section 8 tenants is going to be limited. We're not going to be able to break the $1,000 threshold, but we'll still get a good rent, man. We'll probably get 900 which is going to be 10 8 for the year. Of the 10 8 you'll spend about 5 6 leaving you with approximately 5 one 
uh, after the fact. Now, if we get it at that 70, dude, you only put down 17 and a half. Like I said at the top of the show, pick it up for less than 20K. 17 and a half. It's all you got to pay. Bank pick kicks in the other 52.5. And then the fucking great thing is we get the United States government to make sure you get that 52.5 paid off with that government guaranteed rent, which is the cheat code when you're in these lower income neighborhoods, dude. That's why people don't like these neighborhoods because you go into these lower income neighborhoods, you get low income tenants. Low income tenants are a hop, skip, and a jump away from not being able to pay the rent. If they can't pay the rent, you got a victim, which is kind of a problem in the corona, uh, post corona world, right? Whenever this thing's going to end, I don't know. But that's an issue, right? Even when you don't have corona to deal with. It's just, it's expensive to evict people. You got to rehab the unit, blah, 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 blah. That's what people steer away from the C-class stuff, okay? So what I like to do, what I make a lot of my money, right? What I make a lot of my money doing is I go into the stuff, get the great price-to-rent ratios, but I eliminate the biggest risk factor, which is not getting the rent because the tenant is this close to their life falling apart, and I get the government guaranteed rent, which makes it all gravy, bro. Uh, is it going to run perfectly? No, dude. We're still going to run into issues. Watch the Tenants from Hell show. I mean, yeah, we talk about that. But you do a bunch of these, okay, you're going to make some money, brother. So what this should pencil out at is 14.3%. Cash on cash return, 74 cap, dude. Totally respectable. Super nice house. I think it's a good move for you, Roman. I think it would be nice in your portfolio. And, of course, my team... Uh, we can kick in that low ball offer now, follow up with the uh, seller every 30 days or so. Hopefully, we eventually get in our contract, help you get your third-party home inspector to go in there and make sure there's no major issues, right? Because the house is nice and renovated, but if we go in there and figure out there's like a structural problem, that's going to blow the deal. Uh, the mechanicals uh, not going to be like all totally brand new, right? But they're still going to be... You know, pretty good working order, we'll hope. So we'll go through all that jazz, and if something changes, uh, we'll reevaluate. But other than that, looks like it should be a solid deal. Uh, plus, if this wasn't the go, this one doesn't go through. You still have the other one in Lorraine that I showed you earlier, right? I think you target both of these and see what we can get to pencil out. Everybody else, if you like what you saw today, you want to work uh, with a team that can a do everything for you, right? Give you this education. Uh, help you buy the property, uh, act as your agent, and then follow it up with your property management, construction, landscaping, leasing, insurance, all that jazz. Give you the full turnkey experience. Hit up my team, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your number. We'll call you. We'll walk you through the process. And if I haven't made it crystal clear in this show, you need to subscribe to Holden Wise TV to watch more of my shows. Uh, I screwed that up. What I was trying to say is we will cut it to you straight and give you transparency. And if I haven't made that clear in this video, watch my other videos. Because I think I've made it pretty clear that we, we don't bullshit you here, right? Like, I'm not going to come on here and, and give you guys pie-in-the-sky pie expectations, right? What we do here, it's raw, it's real. I've been in the trenches for freaking years doing this stuff, right? Sold over $200 million worth of this stuff. We run the largest scattered site rental portfolio in this market. You don't believe me? Freaking Google us. Do what you got to do. Run your due diligence on us. Run your due diligence on the properties. But uh, we walk the walk. We talk the talk. And, uh, you know, it, it's real estate, man. It, it's been making millionaires for uh, as long as I can ever recall in the history uh, of the world, right? They don't make any more land. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.